So the state of Illinois has introduced a new bill, which aims to ban so-called assault weapons, create an AW registry, and also ban so-called large capacity magazines. So let's talk about this. Also want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is TACPAC. TACPAC is a subscription-based box that delivers a box of tactical and EDC gear to your door every single month. Every month, TACPAC's team puts together a box with a bunch of different products that you may find actually useful. And it's always cool to get one of these boxes every single month. And I'm always curious to see what they include in their box. For example, I just received one of their Plus boxes and they had some Ear Pro in it. Um, they had a couple shirts and a bunch of stickers. Uh, mag carrier, some iPro, uh, various muzzle devices, knives, etc. So you can get a bunch of random goodies in your box and a lot of things that maybe you wouldn't have bought for yourself. But every time I open one of these boxes, I'm really excited to actually get some of these things. And right now, TACPAC is doing something really cool for my viewers. If you use the code ARM during the month of December, you will receive a second free standard TACPAC uh, box with your own shipment and it will ship immediately to you. So I will leave a link to TACPAC down below and also in the pinned comment section. Don't forget to use that code ARMED and also thank you again to TACPAC for sponsoring this video. As I mentioned in the intro, in this video we will be discussing how the state of Illinois has introduced a new bill which aims to ban the purchase, possession, and sale of so-called assault weapons and also ban the purchase, sale, and possession of so-called large capacity magazines and also aims to create an assault weapon registration. The bill we're going to be talking about in this video, which has been introduced, is House Bill number 5855. HB 5855 is also known as the Protect Illinois Community Act. It's a bill which will ban the manufacture, possession, purchase, and sale of so-called assault weapons, and also will ban any magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. However, this bill does not stop with just banning rifles and magazines. It also aims to create an assault weapon registration and also will try to raise the legal age of gun ownership from 18 years of age all the way up to 21 years old. So let's take a look at HB 5855 and what this language is attempting to do. So first, the bill will make it illegal to manufacture, deliver, sell, or purchase an assault weapon, an assault weapon attachment, 50 caliber rifles, or 50 caliber ammunition. For the purposes of this bill, it first creates a specific list of makes and models that it defines to be so-called assault weapons and pistols as well. This is similar to what other states like California did with their first bans on these types of items. Then HB 5855 goes on to define the term so-called assault weapons, what it intends to mean, and they say that it means any semi-automatic centerfire rifle that has at least one of these offending features. Those features include a folding or telescoping stock, a pistol grip, a forward pistol grip, or a flash suppressor. Again, very similar to language you would find in the state of California that they passed or states like New York as well. Then the bill also has a catch-all provision where they define an assault weapon attachment. And this would essentially mean that any firearm that has an attachment that is defined to be an assault weapon attachment would therefore become an assault weapon under this bill. So again, if you had a specific attachment on any rifle or pistol, all of a sudden, because it has an assault weapon attachment, some sort of accessory on it, then all of a sudden it will be banned in the state of Illinois. Now, the state of Illinois did not just target AR-15 style rifles or AK style rifles. They are also going after 50 caliber rifles as well. Under this bill, there will be a future ban on the purchase and possession of 50 caliber rifles and also ammunition because although we're going to talk about some grandfathering provisions in this bill later, there is no grandfathering provision for ammunition and also there is no sort of an exemption for the average person to be able to purchase 50 caliber ammunition. So really, you may be able to keep your 50 caliber rifles, uh, these things chambered in 50 caliber, but really they would just become a really expensive paperweight. Now, as I mentioned, like always, these bills try to win over hearts and minds by including in some sort of grandfather provision. HB 5855 states that there will be a 300 day effective date after this bill goes into effect. After 300 days, it will then become unlawful to purchase or possess these types of rifles. The caveat to all of that is that if you purchase or possess one of these rifles or pistols or shotguns before that effective time period, then that firearm could be grandfathered in, but you're going to have to register it with the state. So the state of Illinois is grandfathering in these firearms, but then you will have to pay a $25 fee and then you will have to place that firearm that's in your possession on a registry that will be an assault weapon registry with the state of Illinois. And the consequences, if you violate the law, 
If you don't adhere to these types of restrictions, you would get at least a class three felony. And again, that has serious criminal penalties attached to it in prison time as well. So if this bill passes, the future possession and purchase and sale of standard AR-15s and AKs will become illegal. The only caveat to that, again, is you can keep possession if you decide you want to register those with the state. But like I mentioned, this bill does not just stop with a ban on so-called assault weapons. It also attempts to ban the possession, purchase, and sale of magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. Under HB 5855, it will be illegal to buy, sell, or possess a magazine capable of holding more than 10 rounds. This prohibition also impacts belts, drums, feed strips, or similar items that can be readily converted to accept more than 10 rounds. Now, in this portion of the bill, it's important for me to note that the state will not in fact provide a grandfathering provision, so these magazines that are currently in your possession will not be grandfathered in. The only options you really have would be to likely permanently alter those magazines so they can only accept 10 rounds or to have to destroy them. But as if an assault weapons ban, an assault weapons registry, and a magazine ban wasn't enough, HB 5855 also is now seeking to increase the legal age of firearms ownership in the state of Illinois from 18 to 21. Recently, we've seen various federal lawsuits where courts have struck down these types of age-based restrictions, but Illinois wants to now try their own hand at these age-based restrictions, so they're trying to change the legal age of ownership from 18 to 21. There are some exemptions for people who are 18 to 20, where maybe you could be in possession and use these types of rifles if you're in law enforcement or maybe if you're in the military. But again, this is just typical hypocrisy where it's safe for these individuals to have these firearms when they're protecting the government's interests, but they can't have them to actually protect themselves and their loved ones. Again, just typical hypocrisy, but they do have some sort of exemption for those specific individuals who are in law enforcement or maybe even in the military. Then there are also some hunting exemptions where an 18 to 20 year old could have possession and use these types of rifles as long as they are being supervised by an adult who also has an FOID card. Now, for those of you in Illinois, you may be asking yourself if this even has a chance of passing. Well, all indications are that yes, this absolutely does have a chance of passing. Currently, Democrats in Illinois have a supermajority, I believe, in that state legislator. And also all reports are that they are very confident that they can get this passed and that they really do want to get this passed. Because of this, if you're in Illinois, I highly, highly recommend that you reach out to your local representative and let them know that you do not support HB 5855 and that you want them to vote against passing this bill. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that if this ever passes, you will have various organizations, two-way organizations like FBC, GOA, and others suing the state of Illinois to try to stop the enforcement of this bill. But it's always better to try to get ahead of this, and it's always easier to fight this with all of your might before it passes because although litigation is good, it becomes very hard to try to remove these once they're passed. And again, the court systems aren't always in the favor of the Second Amendment. So again, I highly recommend you contact your representatives and let them know what's going on. And also share this video and information to other gun owners in your state, other people who may be impacted by this, because we need people engaged in trying to stop this bill and preventing it from ever becoming into force and effect. Because once it does, take it from someone in California, you are talking about probably multi-year battles to try to remove this law. So that's currently what's going on in Illinois. There is a bill which is proposing a ban on so-called assault weapons, also proposing an assault weapon registration, and also proposing a ban on so-called um, large capacity magazines, and then also an age-based restriction to purchase and possess firearms. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Algor's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and signal to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. As always, I want to thank everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, who hits the notification bell, who shares these videos. You guys are directly impacting these videos, impacting this channel, helping me to reach and educate more people than I could ever do on my own. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget, this nation is built by armed scholars, and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.